Now that we have drawn the part, let's do some machining. First, let's make a facing cutter to start with. Select the Tools button and click on an empty tool tile. Select Face Mill. I will give it a 3 inch diameter, 2.5 inch shank size, 0 0.032 tip radius, 5 flutes, 0.75 flute length, and 4 inch overall length. Extend out of the holder by 2 inches. Tool length offset number will be 1, and the cutter compensation offset will also be 1. Carbide insert coded, and we'll make a comment, face mill. Now I will show you another way of doing a face milling operation. Open the machining palette. Take the face milling cutter to position 1. Now bring down the roughing tile and place it onto the face mill cutter. This time, keep the offset command. Put in your RPM and feed rates. And I will give it a 2 inch cut width. It is OK to keep the entry motions. Clear anything from the finish stock areas. Now select Use Stock and select Outermost Shape as Stock. Choose Depth from Tool. Point 2 in the Entry and Exit Clearance planes. Point 1 in this box. And 0 here. Everything here is fine. Now just hit the Do It command. The tool path looks OK. However, as you can see, there are a lot of sharp corners. Facing cutters will cut faster and last longer if direction transitions are more gradual. Go to the Plugins menu. Select HSM for high speed machining. Here we will select Sharp Corners and go to the Sharp Corners tab. This is just one example that I'm going to show you. However, you should take your time, experiment, and try the different things out which are available here. Add fillets will add arcs to the corners. Add loops will put in a whole loop. We do not want that in this case, so I will keep the add fillets on. Multiple radii and look ahead on. This is the angle range here. Most of our corners are 90 degrees. So this is good, keeping 90 in the middle. The fillet radii could be a percentage of the cutter diameter or a fixed number. I'm going to use fixed number. I will say desired is 1.5, minimum is 0.5, and step is 0.5. And for a minimum feature length, I will say 0.1. Now say do it. And this is it. Now let's render this. The new toolpath will produce results in both the ability to increase feed rates as well as extending tool life.